let's jump right in. So first and foremost, I wanna talk about the top three things you can do starting in this new year and how you can basically start to make sure you're on the right path, lining up your future and getting yourself out of debt and moving your finances to the right area. So here's what I start off with. Take a sheet of paper out and write down all of your debts. Get a true understanding where you're at financially. You'll be surprised how much that $20 coming out of your checking account every month or pulling 20 bucks out to go to Starbucks or any of those things start to add up. Now, once you've done that, I want you to divide it up into different categories. The first thing I want you to divide it up as is monthly debt. The second debt is the miscellaneous things that pop up. And then the last debt that I want you to put on there is credit card debt. That's the last column. That debt I want you to list down there. And when you put your credit card debt on there, I want you to do three things for me. List the credit card debt, how much you actually have on the balance. List the interest rate that you have on that credit card. And then list the amount of money that you're spending on a minimum basis to cover the minimum payment every month. Now, once you've done that, this is gonna be your snapshot. I want you to take that and I want you to smack it down right next to your computer, your home office. We're gonna go and look at this as often as we can to see how bad things were when we first started and to see the progress that we do as we move forward. Once you've gotten that put together, here's what I want you to start focusing on is our credit card debt. There are two approaches out there that people talk about. The first one's called an avalanche approach. It's when you basically look at all of your credit card debt and you basically say, I'm gonna take the credit card with the highest interest rate and I'm gonna start paying that debt down first. You're paying a large payment to that credit card debt and then all the other credit cards, you're paying the minimum payments to it. The second approach is called the snowball effect. The snowball effect says, let me look at the credit card that has the smallest debt on it, pay that down first, pay the larger payment on that, and pay minimum payments on all the other credit cards. Now, I think it should be a combination of both. The strategy we wanna come up with is going out there and looking at your credit cards and look at the credit card that has the highest interest rate with the lowest amount of debt. See, if you have four credit cards and you're constantly putting money on these credit cards and everyone is paying the minimum on all these credit cards. You start out with four credit cards at the beginning of the year and two, three, four months by the way goes by and you're still with those same four credit cards. There's no win. Psychologically, you don't feel like you're making anything and you're not accomplishing anything. But if you follow my approach, here's what ends up happening. You knock out that smaller credit card payment first that had the highest interest rate, and now all of a sudden you went from four credit cards down to three credit cards. That's huge, guys. That little simple concept gives you the ability to start feeling like you're winning. And like anything, we always want some sort of win to keep us moving forward. Follow this approach. Like I said, a combination of those two options will help you get through your credit card payments faster, and you'll be on the right path to kind of getting your finances in order.